everyone today we will do exercise 8.4 of unit 8 that is measurements and in this exercise we will be doing the sums related to multiplication and division of measures of length so let's get started now the first question is of multiplication so here we have to multiply 25.9 centimeter by 2 so the unit we will be writing here and then we will write 25.9 multiply by 2 and after multiplication that is 2 9s are 18 1 will get carried over then 2 5s are 10 plus 1 carry will be 11 again 1 will get carried over to the next place so 2 2s are 4 plus 1 is 5 and at the end after getting the product we will see that how many digits were there after decimal in the sum so here we have only one digit after the decimal so in answer also there should be one digit after the decimal it means counting from the right side before one place you can put the decimal therefore 25.9 centimeter multiply by 2 is equals to 51.8 centimeter and in this way you will be doing all the sums now sum number 2 is 18.07 meter by 12 so write the unit here in common then 18.07 multiply by 12 so first of all we will multiply uh, by 2 so 2 7s are 14 1 will get carried over then 2 zeros are 0 plus 1 carry will be written here then 2 8s are 16 6 we will write here and 1 will get carried over to the next place now 2 1s are 2 plus 1 carry is 3 similarly now we will multiply by the next number that is 1 so we will put a cross here because we are done with the digit at the 1s place so 1 7s are 7 1 0s are 0 1 8s are 8 and 1 1s are 1 now after this we will add our partial products and our answer will be 216.84 therefore 18.07 meter multiply by 12 will give us 216.84 meter similarly the next sum that is 1.095 kilometer by 6 so here again we will write the unit in common then 1.095 multiply by 6 and this will give us 6.570 as the answer therefore 1.095 kilometer multiply by 6 will give us 6.570 kilometers now in the next question we will be doing the division of measures of length so in sum number 4 it is 17.2 centimeter by 4 means we have to divide 17.4 2 centimeter by 4 so let us divide 17.2 will be our dividend and 4 will be our divisor so we will just forget that we are having a decimal in the dividend so we will be simply dividing it up and after that at the end when we will get our answer then in our answer we will be putting the decimal so 4 4s are 16 and 17 minus 16 will be 1. Now this 2 we will just bring down here. Now the new dividend is 12. So 4 3s are 12 and after subtraction we will get 0. Now when we will get the answer 43 then we have to see that in dividend how many digits were there which were after the decimal. So it was only 1. So in our quotient also there should be 1 digit after the decimal. So counting from the right side before 1 digit you can put now the decimal means at the end when you will completely divide the sum and will get the quotient then you will put the decimal okay therefore 17.2 centimeter divided by 4 will give us 4.3 centimeter similarly we will do the next sum that is 18.64 meter by 8 so 18.64 will be the dividend and 8 is the divisor so 8 twos are 16 18 minus 16 will give us 2 now we will bring down this 6 here the dividend is now 26 so 8 threes are 24 now 26 minus 24 will give us 2 and we will bring down this 4 here now 8 threes are 24 and after subtraction we will get 0 now that we have completely divided the sum now we will put the decimal according to the number of places uh, decimal places in the dividend so in dividend there are two digits after the decimal so in our answer means quotient also we will have two digits after the decimal so counting from the right side before two digits you can put the decimal therefore 18.64 meter divided by 8 will give us 2.33 meter 
Now the last sum of division is 12.4 kilometer by 5. Here 12.4 is the dividend and 5 is the divisor. So it is given in kilometer. It means after decimal uh, it is meters because 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. So after decimal there should be 3 digits. So you can put 2 zeros after 4 then it will become 12.400 and the value remains same that is 12.4. So we will divide it by 5. So 5 twos are 10. 12 minus 10 will give us 2. Now we will bring down this 4 here. So 5 fours are 20. After subtraction we will get 4 and this 0 will be brought here. Now 5 eights are 40. 40 minus 40 will give us 0. Now the last 0 will be just uh, carried over here so five zeros are zero the remainder is zero and at the end we will see how many digits are there in the dividend which are after the decimal so there are three so in answer means in quotient also there should be three digits after the decimal so our answer will be 2.480 therefore 12.4 kilometer divided by 5 will give us 2.480 kilometer next is question number seven Rita cycles 8 km to 50 meter every day. How much distance does she cycle in 8 days? So every day she covers a distance of 8 km and 250 meter when she cycles. So we have to find that how much distance she uh, will cover in 8 days or she covers in 8 days. So let's write the solution. Distance Rita cycles every day. It is 8 km to 250 meter. Therefore, distance she cycles in 8 days, that is 8 km to 250 meter by 8 means we have to multiply the distance that she covers in one day by 8 and then we will come to know that how much she cycles in 8 days. So, these are two digits, two units that is kilometer and meter. First of all, we have to convert it into kilometers. So, let's see how we can do that. It is 8 km to 250 meter means 8 km will uh, be written as it is and this 250 meter will get converted into kilometers. So as per the formula King Henry died mother did not cry much. So this is millimeter, centimeter, decimeter, then meter, then decameter, hectometer and kilometer. So when we have to convert meter into kilometer, we have to go three steps above. So whenever we have to go upward, we will divide and whenever we have to come downward, we will multiply. So whenever we go upward, it means we are converting into higher units. Fine. That is why we used to divide. So we have to go three steps upward. So we will divide it by 1000. So 250 meter will get converted into kilometers. Now 8 kilometer will be written as it is. And when the dividend is 1000, so there should be three digits after the decimal when we get answer. So we need not to go for long division method. Write the numerator here. <coughs> and put decimal counting from the right side before three digits so now it is 8 kilometer plus 0 0.250 meter when we will add them we will get 8.250 kilometer so this is the distance in kilometers that she cycles in one day now we will multiply it by eight and we will come to know that how much she cycles in eight days so after multiplication that is 8.250 multiplied by 8, we will get 66.000 means 66 kilometers. So method of multiplication will be same as we have done in the first question. So she cycles 66 kilometer in 8 days. Now the next question is question number 8. A ribbon roll is 25 meter 20 centimeter long. This is the length of a ribbon roll. It is shared equally by 9 girls. And nine girls have shared this ribbon roll that is 25 meter 20 centimeter long. Find the share of each girl. So we need to find how much each girl would have uh, got fine if it is shared equally by them. So let's write the statement length of a ribbon roll. It is 25 meter 20 centimeter. It is shared equally by 9 girls. Therefore, the share of each girl is equals to. Now, the share of each girl will be just uh, um, calculated after 
division but before division we have to convert this unit okay so we have to convert it into meters fine so 25 meter 20 centimeter so use the formula king henry died and just check that if we have to convert this 20 centimeter means centimeter into meter so this is centimeter this is meter we need to go two steps above so we have to divide so 25 meter plus 20 divided by 100 unit will get converted into meters so 25 meter plus when we have to divide any number by 100 write the numerator and put decimal counting from the right side before two digits fine so it is 0 0.20 meter now add 25 meter and 0 0.20 meter like this so you will get 25.20 meter now this is the uh, length of the ribbon roll in meters we have converted 25 meter 20 centimeter into meters and now that we have converted it into one unit now we will divide it okay so divide 25.20 meter by 9 so let us see how so 9 twos are 18 25 minus 18 will give us 7 now we will bring down this 2 here so 9 8s are 72 so 72 minus 72 is 0 now we will bring down this 0 here so 9 zeros are 0 okay so after just completing our division sum now we will put the decimal at the end so let's see how many digits are there in uh, the dividend after the decimal so they are two so in answer also there should be two digits after the decimal so counting from the right side before two digits you can put the decimal therefore the share of each girl is 2.80 meter okay it means you can say 2.8 meter or 2.8 meter this is the share that each girl got after equally sharing 25 meter 20 centimeter long ribbon roll now next is question number 9. A distance of 48.096 km is covered equally in 4 days by a person on foot. So it means a person has covered a distance of 48.096 km in foot on foot in 4 days. Okay. How far does he walk each day? So if in 4 days he has covered this much distance, so how much um, he would have walked each day that we need to find. So let's do the solution. Distance covered equally in 4 days by a person. It is 48.096 km. Therefore, distance he walked each day. So when information about more than one day is given and we need to find the information about one day, we can divide and just find that. So we will divide 48.096 km by 4. So let's see how we can divide it. So 4 ones are 4. 4 minus 4 will be 0. Now this 8 will be here. Now 4 twos are 8 and 8 minus 8 is 0. Now we will bring down this next digit here. So 4 zeros are 0 and 0 minus 0 is obviously 0. Now this 9 will be here. So 4 twos are 8 and 9 minus 8 is 1. And now we will bring down this last digit 6 here. So dividend is 16. So 4 fours are 16 and 16 minus 16 is 0. So now we will put the decimal in our answer that is quotient because the answer of division is quotient. So in dividend there are three digits after the decimal. So in our answer means in quotient also there should be three digits after the decimal. So how we put decimal just count uh, from the right side three digits and put decimal before it. Therefore, he walked 12.024 km each day and in total in 4 days he covered 48.096 km. So, this is the distance he walked each day. Now, question number 10. Rishit bought 0 0.5 meter cloth at Rs 120 per meter. It means this is cost of 1 meter cloth. Fine. How much money did he pay? So, how much money did he pay for how much? for 0 0.5 meter cloth that he had bought okay so solution is first of all cost of 1 meter cloth it is rupees 120 and it is given to us therefore we have to find cost of 0 0.5 meter so we will write cost of 0 0.5 meter cloth bought by Rishit is equals to now we have to multiply rupees 120 multiply by 0 0.5 so let us see 120 multiply by 0 0.5 so we will just multiply it 5 zeros are 0 5 twos are 10 1 will get carried over here 5 ones are 5 plus 1 carry will be 6 
Now put a cross here and 0 zeros are 0, 0 2s are 0, 0 1s are 0. And when you will add these partial products, you will get 0 6 0 0.60 means rupees 60. So this is the cost of 0 0.5 meter cloth that Rishit had bought. Now the last question of this exercise that is question number 11. Find the cost of 2.25 meter pipe at the rate of rupees 30 per meter. It means rupees 30 is the cost of 1 meter pipe and we need to find the cost of 2.25 meter pipe. So when the cost of one thing is given you can easily find the cost of more than one things that is by multiplying. So here one thing is 1 meter pipe. So cost of 1 meter pipe is given that is rupees 30 and cost of more than 1 meter pipe we can easily find by multiplication. Therefore cost of 2.25 meter pipe will be rupees 30 multiplied by 2.25. So let us multiply here 2.25 multiplied by 30 will give us 67.50. So as we are finding the cost so it will be written with the symbol of rupees means rupees 67.50 is the cost of 2.25 meter pipe. So I hope you would have understood this exercise.